Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here. I want to talk to us a little bit on the proper way to give. Now, some of you are like, look, I'm already giving. I'm already giving tithes and offerings. You mean there's a proper way to give that? Well, scripturally, yep, there is. So the first thing we want to look at, Sermon on the Mount, Matthew 6, it says this, But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth, that thine alms may be in secret. Thy Father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. So the first principle is, don't do it, you know, because they would actually, in those time periods, they would blow a trumpet and say, Rabbi such and such is about to give his offering, you know, and they would just give and make it a big thing. You know, Jesus is like, hey, that little widow that gave two farthings, she gave more than you all, you know. So, yes, doing it secretly, but not just secretly, 2 Corinthians 9, 7, God loveth a cheerful giver. It's not, oh. I gotta give the Lord tithes and offerings again. I can't believe this. The government already gets twenty three percent, and now I gotta give God. You know, no. God loves a cheerful giver, but not just secret, not just cheerful. But Proverbs three nine and ten says, "Give God the first fruits." And so God doesn't want it just to be secret. He doesn't want it just to be cheerful. But he wants it to be first. He wants to come first. You say, wow, but there's more. If you go to Malachi chapter 1, verses uh, 7, 8, and 9, he says, look, would the king be happy with a blind or a lame offering? He said, I want your best. And this goes beyond money. This goes be our time treasure, our worship to Jesus Christ, our serving him. So he wants it in secret. He wants it first. He wants it cheerful. And he wants it best. We had a little old widow lady in our church when I first got saved. She taught piano lessons for a living. And so when you'd walk in to take piano lessons, I think they were $7 for 30 minutes at that time. She had a jar up front. And so people would go and put the $7 in the jar. She would teach them. And then at the end of the week, she would dump all the money out on her table and she would take the best bills and give them to Jesus first and to Jesus, the best and the first to Jesus. Now, for years I thought, you give them, God don't care. And the more I read the Bible, the more I realized that lady had a lot of wisdom. So secret, cheerful, first and the best. God's blessings for giving. And you'll be blessed. Jesus said it like this, it's more blessed to give than to receive. Boy, isn't that the truth? So God bless. I love you in Jesus' name. Amen.